Hello everybody, welcome to Biotechnica and today we are discussing a very interesting topic. Masters in the United States of America, US of A. Yes, you heard me right. Dream America. Many students keep asking this question that should we go ahead and do our masters from USA? Will it help us in India or anywhere else in our career? So this video is made keeping in mind those students who want to pursue or want to know what are the pitfalls, pros and cons of doing your uh, masters in United States of America. Okay. Now here is something very interesting for all of you to know. America is one of the most advanced biotech nations in the world. So it definitely makes sense if you want to make a career by going there and pursuing your masters. But it is very, very important to know what are the pitfalls? What are the pros and cons? Will you fit in there? What are the expectations of Americans from you, American universities from you? And if you know all that, then it will be easy for you to settle down there and do your masters. So let's quickly get started with today's video. Now, here is something which we're going to talk. We're going to talk about masters in America and uh, I'm not saying that I'm an um, expert of this particular field, but whatever I have learned in mass, my last 15 years of experience, I'm going to put my heart out in this video. Now, these are my personal opinion, plus I have done a survey of a lot of students who have pursued their masters in USA. I am in touch with a lot of Biotechnica Global subscribers and they have given their inputs, have combined all of it right here in this video. So let's start with pros. Let us know what is the benefit of doing a master's in US of A. Now, I have six pros as well as six cons. Now, first pro for you to know is, you know, like I said, the most advanced biotech nation in the world. And that means when you start pursuing your uh, master's degree there, you get in-depth latest knowledge and extreme exposure. Like, the best exposure if you want in your career, that's the place to be in. The quality of ex education is exemplarily high and very, very uh, dynamic. You get to meet a lot of scholars who are really uh, very, uh, who are the veterans of their industry and they have a lot of patents, a lot of papers and a lot of research thinking going on there. So actually, that's the mecca of biotechnology. Okay, so definitely that's there. Now, third is innovation. I have seen many students who, while they are pursuing their master's themselves, they start innovating and do a lot of uh, pre PhD, PhD work, and they get easily absorbed into PhD there. So, innovation wise, uh, it's an excellent place to be in. Okay, America, United States of America, is an excellent place to be in if you want to become a scientist or a researcher in future and head a company or start your own company in biotechnology this is the place to be in coming to the exposure which you get it's amazing okay it's a, one of the most advanced economy of the world and uh, you uh, get to rub shoulders with a lot of you know great guys out there in the biotech industry uh, you get to meet a lot of entrepreneurial uh, CEOs and um, scientists who are planning to launch their next startup in biotechnology and there is a lot of funding available there. So that, that actually helps you, that helps you a lot and that's why I would say exposure wise amazing place to be in. So now coming to scholarships, there are plenty of scholarships available in these universities however it is tough to get them so you need to know uh, what are the requirements you need to know the top universities in the world the link is given in the description you can check that out so that's about the scholarships now you need to know your you need to have your TOEFL and GRE scores as well if you want to apply in these universities now apart from that uh, like I said the top universities in the world out of the top 10 biotech universities I think 70% is in United States so that makes it again a mecca of biotechnology the best place if you want to be in in the world for biosciences biotechnology that's a place to be in but all these pros can be considered only 
if you know the pitfalls if you know the cons now the cons are carefully selected here i have done it in a very careful manner it is not that i want i'm in favor or against of you doing a, your masters in united states but i just want to be your friend to tell you a clear picture of what's expected because when you know what's expected that's where you uh, you know fit in better so quickly coming back let's go to the cons now now the first cons is the return expectation will hurt you very badly now what is return expectation now you did your masters in us and then when you come back to india and you want to get a job in india it will hurt you badly because you will be treated at par with any masters in india it's not that you will be given a special treatment okay unless you are a phd postdoc coming back from us you won't be given a special treatment so that's the return expectations will hurt you you will think that i have spent so much money uh, you know i've gone to us and pursued my masters why people are not giving me special treatment no special treatment you will get the next thing which you will get uh, to see there often is racism so now this is something which you always face uh, no matter which country you go uh, there will be some people who will uh, call you that uh, you're uh, you're a brown indian or you know stuff like that so that's something which hurts at times and in fact to many emotional people to many sensitive people it will hurt so but but if you think that that doesn't matter but definitely um, the co co pros uh, is better so then you can always do it okay now the next thing which will hurt you the most is comfort zone now when you are in india you get to speak to people who are in your language or your uh, you know city that may not happen there and you will not never be in your comfort zone okay which is actually a good thing as well as a bad thing depending on how you perceive it but yeah so you will not be in a comfort zone where uh, you know you are uh, arms reach away from your relatives or your friends or your mom dad it doesn't happen that way you can't just over the weekend go and meet them you really need to plan uh, months ahead if you really want to come back to india and it the flight cost is really high all right so that's about the comfort zone now coming to the away from family part now this is something not for the faint hearted if you are someone who gets um, homesick you know means we feel that you know we want to be with our parents our relatives our family members and then we start missing them and you know uh, what i have seen is because us is on the other side of the globe when it is daytime here it's night time there it's night when it is night time there it's day time here so you know that hurts because you when you want to talk to your uh, relatives or parents they are not available i think that's a bad thing i mean you can't really make the globe flat but yeah so that's a, a pitfall there now the next part very important it's super expensive okay if you think you go to us and pursue your masters it will cost you 2 to 5 lakhs no it's gonna go into 40 to 50 lakhs okay indian rupees it will cost you 40 to 50 lakhs indian rupees so it's better to always go in with a scholarship if the university is providing you a scholarship makes sense or if you're going in you ha your dad has a lot of money choice is yours but yeah it is super expensive just don't jump in because you have good gre scores you need to have your funding right if your funding is not right just don't go in because it is going to kill your bank anyways okay now coming to the last part which is not for the faint hearted why because united states is a challenging country the civilization is highly advanced and i would say that at times it becomes intolerable okay but that's my personal opinion so if you want to go there want to settle down then definitely you can go for masters and then it will be easier for you to do your phd also there in postdoc but yeah uh, these are the pros and cons which i have presented in front of you today if you ask me because i am a person who you know, you know always keeps saying this that you know uh, winners look always look at the rewards of success so if you ask me i will go if my finances uh, you know permit me i will go okay because i love challenges i love um, taking challenges but that's my personal opinion coming to you you know you decide the pros are in front of you the cons are in front of you the expenditure is in front of you you know what challenges you will face now so my suggestion to you is that's a best destination if you want to make a career but if you're thinking that i'll do my masters and come back to india 
that's not happening you should do your phd also and then come back then it makes sense then your value in india or in us also is very high okay and the kind of people you will meet there who knows you can be the next nobel prize winner right so right from the people like har govind khurana to uh, you know jennifer dodna all these people who you know innovated they were at one point in time in united states of america so i think yeah that's uh, that's a good point there i uh, So yeah that's about masters in united states of america if you want to do pursue your masters go for it gre tofel likhna padega aapko you have to write that and don't forget to apply for scholarships don't go in without your scholarship otherwise you will break your bank okay so this is all about and some people will ask me about the loans so here's something you apply for student loan you go and uh, you know uh, pursue your masters not worth it because paying back that loan it will break you back okay even before you get started with your job you have a debt that's not good okay so don't go that way right so this is all about today's video masters in united states of america is a nice idea unless you have funding unless you have good uh, gre tofel scores and yeah you love challenges right but yeah if you ask me i would have done it So that's all about today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video where we'll be talking about PhD and postdoc in United States and the financial implications of that. Can you really print money doing a PhD and postdoc in United States? That that's a question to to be thought about. So we'll talk about that in the next video. Till then take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.